I've never used hay in my garden before, but I've seen others using it and they've had really good results. So I'm going to experiment with this a little bit. Uh, this is alfalfa hay. Alfalfa is a legume and it's high in protein. Uh, they had much cheaper hay available, but I figured the uh, higher nutrient quality of the alfalfa might be a little bit better for the plants. Just a guess, I don't know. Also, hay is more nutrient dense than straw, so I thought uh, hay might be a good one to try. These bells cost me 20 bucks each. I bought five of them. These are three string bells. They weigh about 100 pounds each. I'm not sure how long a bell will last me. I figured five would at least get me through the year. Back in the fall, I put together four mini hugel mounds. There's one, two, three, four, and I planted cover crop seeds on them. I've never used cover crops before, but these survived uh, through the winter. They survived the single digit weather that we received this last week, which really surprises me. I plan on planting into these mounds pretty soon for vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and terminate these cover crops, and then I'm gonna experiment with the hay. I'm also gonna take some of the compost from one of my geo bins over there. That's manure and leaves that I've been turning in that compost bin for about two months now. I'm just gonna harvest a little bit, but I'm gonna experiment with compost only, hay only, compost on top of hay, hay on top of compost. So how do you terminate a cover crop? I'm thinking what I'll do is just take some hedge clippers and cut those as close to the ground as I can. Just kind of give it a haircut a little bit. That may not be necessary, but I'm gonna at least try it. Got those all terminated. This is what's considered green manure, I believe. It's gonna feed the soil life. All those roots are gonna die in the soil and they're gonna feed the microorganisms. That's gonna make for a better growing environment for the uh, vegetables. The idea of this is to get it out of the way before you plant, to give it time for all that stuff to decompose so that it doesn't tie up any nutrients for the uh, seedlings. This is my first time to use cover crops, so you know this is all theory to me, but I thought it was time that I actually get my hands dirty and uh, try some of this stuff out for myself. Now it's time to start covering these mounds with compost and or hay. I got all those beds prepped. This bed has compost only on it. Take a look at the compost. You can still see leaves and uh, donkey manure there. It hasn't fully broken down, but this pile hasn't really heated up much in a while and I've turned it several times now. It did reach really hot temperatures several times. I think this is pretty much ready. This pile has the alfalfa hay only on top. I didn't go super thick on the layer. This mound has the compost with the hay on top. And this pile has the hay with the compost on top. I used about 10 gallons of compost on each of these mounds. This first bed I plan to dedicate food for my tortoise. It's going to have beets and mustards and dandelion and I can't really remember what else, but I'm just going to try to dedicate foods that she likes so that I don't have to spend money at the store on that kind of stuff. These other three mounds I'm going to plant with warm season vegetables such as tomatoes and peppers. I've got them all started indoors right now. I'll probably wait to plant the warm season vegetables until April 1st, somewhere in there, to have a better chance of getting past all our late frosts. And these seeds I'll probably start planting maybe next weekend. I know it's a bit early with chopping those cover crops down, but they really could go ahead and go in the ground, I think, since they're cool season vegetables. I'll give some updates later on, and I'll give my opinion on which of these methods I thought may have been best. Just my initial thoughts, probably the mound that has hay with compost on top may be the best one, but we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.